How's it going everybody? It's Shane and this week's video is going to be a little bit different than my other videos concerning the pick and place project. So I've had some issues with the uh, post processor in Fusion 360 not quite putting out the G code I expected and so I made a uh, topic on the Linux CNC forum and this one is dealing with the Fusion 360 post not returning to home. And after I did some digging around, I found out what was going on is there was a section at the very bottom of the post processor that they had actually commented out. And that was on line 1443, the write, retract, X and Y. So I made some changes to that and saved it and not long after that Fusion decided that it needed to update and there went all my changes. So it wasn't until uh, Machine Dude had replied to my post and stated that I could save a copy in my uh, computer so that it would I could go to that rather than trying to go to the cloud version which constantly gets updated all the time. So a special thanks to Machine Dude for reminding me of that so I figured this week's video is showing how to make a uh, local post processor for your computer. So we'll go over here to Fusion. And if you go up to the Fusion 360 site, they give a description of how to do it under the topic, how to install a personal local post processor in Fusion 360 Cam. So if you want to see the official version of how to do that, I suggest going over to there. If you are willing to listen to me muddle my way through it, then many thanks. Before I go any further, I would like to mention that I am not an expert by any means. I feel like an idiot every time I try to do coding. Occasionally I get lucky. So maybe I can do this without screwing up. Heading over here into my Fusion 360 account. Let's see what my G code would come out under their standard configuration here. Let's see, we'll save this as, uh, we'll call it test one and save it. And I'll just save it to my desktop. So let's see what it gave me. Now, keep in mind these end numbers right here aren't really uh, concerning for the computer. It completely ignores it when you're running the G code. However, if you do make changes, sometimes these will kind of look a little out of whack when they just start skipping lines all together. One of the changes I will show in my personal post processor is how to eliminate these numbers right here the N number like N25, N30, N35, and so on. This is what the default settings are. And as you notice down here, where the problem was, is you notice it only says G53Z0. That only returns the Z axis back to its home position. It will not return any of the other axes to their home positions. So, Let's see the way to fix that. Let's exit that, exit that. No, don't save it. I'll pull it up here in a second anyway. Go back to Fusion and Post Processor. And Linux CNC, we'll just go to Open Configuration. Now, a few of the things that I have changed is we'll go down to the section uh, number 40, line 41 here, show sequence numbers true. I actually changed that to false. Yeah, maybe if I can spell it right. Here's. Okay, change that and go all the way down at the bottom of the code for the post processor. Line number 1443 here, you see these two forward slashes, those are put there to comment this part of the code out. 
way to fix that is to just remove those two forward slashes and now that part of the code will again be active. Now something silly that I put into my own G code post processor. We'll just copy that. Make a space for it. And let's say you want to add a message to yourself. Uh, let's say have a nice day. Now every time it puts out the G code, it'll write that right before the very end of the G of the program. Now let's say you also wanted to change its extension so that instead of an NGC file, it would turn it into a text file that you can edit in Notepad or anything else like that if you can't really get into uh, change something in the code. You would go to line 22 here where it says extension and you could change that to TXT. That would now output it as a text file. Since I don't have any issue with that section of it, I'll just change it back to NGC. Now, after you've made all your changes, if you just hit save, that'll save it to its uh, installed library and every time uh, Fusion 360 updates their system, those changes will now be lost. So hit as save as, and let's say we're just gonna name that uh, Linux CNC uh, test. We'll go ahead and save that into the desktop. And okay, it shows that as Linux CNC test. We'll exit out of here and exit out of there. Now we see Linux CNC test. I'm gonna move this over here, so keep that there for later. Go back to the Fusion, to your post processor, go into setup and hit that. Copy this part of the code. Go into here, hit paste, and then open it. Now you notice there's nothing in here. So then we'll minimize it to that degree. Exit that, exit that. Now when we bring it back up, we can take our test post processor and just drop it on in. And we bring up our post processors, go into setup, use personal post library. And look at that. It pulls up Linux CNC test. Let's make sure it's the right one. Okay, NGC. Let's go down to our numbers. Up, oh, still line 41 is now false. Go down to the bottom, have a nice day. Number 1443 is uncommented now. Okay. So now we'll hit the post processor one more time. Oh, back to personal post library. And we'll save this as test two. Save that back to desktop. Let's see what we get. Oh, the numbers are no longer there. And when we go all the way down at the bottom, oh, look at that. G53, the X0, Y0 are back. And it says, have a nice day. All right, well, I guess that's it for this week's video. So I hope you found it informative. And until next time, see ya.